Hey guys, what's up? Brent Calmer from Blue Water VST. Wanted to give you a quick video perspective on how you might process individual drum sounds using batteries onboard effects. So I have launched Ableton Live and loaded a couple simple uh, kind of breakbeat clips here, loosely based on some of Live's factory content. And these clips are playing through battery through the Soul Kit multi mic, which can be located under Battery 2 Kits, Acoustic Kits, and Soul Kit multi mic here at the bottom. It's the top of these two. So when we get these clips going, oops, here's what we hear. So what you see is that each of these sounds, each of these drum sounds triggers multiple cells. This bass drum sound, if I click on this cell A1, you see that both A1 but also B1 and C1 are activated. Since this is a multi-mic kit, there are various cells that, uh, that combine to play a single sound because what you have is one sound being recorded by variously placed microphones. And if you listen to these, if you solo these individual sounds, you'll hear that they are in fact different. So we come over here, we solo this one, solo this one. So completely different sounds based on where the microphone is placed. But let's get back to the full sound and uh, see how we would process this snare, this snare drum. The reason I brought up the multi-mic thing is, is to show you that you actually have to select all three of the cells in the case of this multi-mic kit to affect all three sounds. So I can do that by cl clicking to select a cell, but then holding down my control or the Apple key to uh, add individual cells to that selection. And then I would come down here to this tab section to effects, and I could start m applying these effects to all three of those cells, because now this effects section is uh, it controlling all, all of what I have selected. So it can be an individual cell, it can be many cells. It's just something to keep in mind. So. Our, sn our snare sounds quite nice as it is, but to make it a little punchier, we might toggle on this EQ and then come over here and go to our factory content and select one of these presets. Now if we just toggled it on and let it play, this is what we'd hear. Kind of a muffled sound because it's already loaded this low pass filter. That's not really appropriate for a snare drum, so let's go over to factory, EQ1, and snare enhance. And now here's what we have. So it's a little snappier. You see it just gives a uh, one band EQ that kind of boosts that area, that frequency range of our snare drum. And you can of course click and drag this and move this around based upon how appropriate it is, it is for that individual snare drum that you're working with. Because all of these snare drums sound different across the various kits. I might also want to turn on the compressor to add a little bit of a squeeze to this snare. And I can activate that in the same way I activated the EQ. And then come over here to factory. And let's just go louder drums. And now here's what we have. So that snare really does pop out from the mix to a, to a great extent. And you want to be careful with this because there are some really nice dynamics that are happening uh, with a completely dry sound. Because these are multi-samples, you have a great deal of complexity in the sound, so you don't want to squeeze the life out of it by compressing it too much. It just, uh, it just bears kind of getting in there and tweaking some of the settings so that you're retaining some of those nice dynamics, but not, uh, but not letting it be completely uncompressed, if that's what you choose to do. This is really just to give you an idea of what you can do, uh, and this is one of the most basic kinds of applications. But we haven't even touched the lo-fi or saturator, which add dirt and grit to the sound. They're great for those kind of more industrial biting sounds, and these can be used together or separately. And that's kind of what's cool about this effects section. You can toggle all of these on or off and uh, just really get customized in terms of what you want to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. In the next section, we're going to get into uh, using the master effects, which are a completely different uh, animal in the sense that they apply over the entire kit. And uh, this is just a, a tremendous amount of fun to use. It shows you how deep battery is. It's really an extraordinary instrument. So talk to you soon. Take care.